Peace and blessing, family. Uh, once again, this is William Shaw Sawyer, founder and CEO of Inner City Tech. The website is innercitytech.org. We're a certified 501c3 nonprofit organization um, dedicated primarily to getting more um, lower incomes and minority, lower income persons and minorities into interested in pursuing uh, uh, STEM fields, right? Specifically, uh, technology. Um, so, I'm going to get into this as I promised. I was going to start becoming a little more uh, um, uh, engaged and involved and posting more content. So, do me a favor, fam. If you like anything you hear or you find it interesting, right, you can go through our uh, other videos and you know hit hit, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Right? Um, I think this is a, a time you know most people got channels. It's then where we dealing with positive community engagement, man, activities. Okay, so hit the like button and subscribe. Okay, so let's get into it today. We're going to deal with a topic uh, that um, could be considered controversial, um, but of course that's always uh, subjective, right? Uh, or a matter of perspective, right? What's funny to me may not be funny to you. Was controversial to me, man. I'm controversial to you, but generally speaking, um, this is a topic that uh, I haven't really seen addressed, and so I'm gonna delve into it. And, and at the same time, this sort of exposes me because uh, most people don't know, right? You know, I guess you can sort of tell I'm a guy that um, you know originates from the streets, right? Um, you know, now I'm you know dealing with corporate stuff and things of that nature, but. I'm, you know, I'm a street guy, right? And I'm, I'm you know, I'm New York all the way, right? You know, Harlem, Brooklyn, Queens, even a little Staten Island thrown in there, and, and even some Long Island, right? Um, so the topic today is Muslim bloods, right? Now, let me just give you a little background on the Muslims, right, in New York, uh, in, in the Department of Corrections. Right, especially the New York State Department of Corrections and um, the New York City Department of Corruption. <laughs> I said Freudian slip. I was about to say Department of Corruption. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, uh, New York City Department of Corrections. Corruptions. <laughs> anyway, um, so, you know, Muslims used to be considered... Um, and again, you know, I, my history is I'm, I'm, I've been just as involved. That's the politically correct term, right? So I can speak on this, right? So Muslims used to be um, considered a gang, right? In the Department of Corrections and New York State Department of Corrections, it was, it was outlawed, right? Only thing they recognized was Christians, right? Catholics, Protestants, Jewish, right? Jews. And so, um, you know, people fought and died for the right to be able to practice their religion, right? Um, and then, you know, now, of course, you know, uh, Islam is, is one of the world's uh, three major religions, right? They say there's probably like 1.6 or, 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 or 5 or 4. Um, now, I can tell you that that's inaccurate because there's a lot of people that are Muslims that you don't even know about. That's that they don't, you know, put that out there, right? You know, I'm, I'm Muslim. And I'm not the most, I'm not the best of Muslims. Like they, but that's my Akita, my belief, right? And, and, and I go to the grave with that, right? And that's La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah, right? When we talk about the Muhammad of over almost 1,500 years ago, Muhammad Ibn Abdullah. So that's my belief in my, my kid is correct. Right? And that's, that's what I died on. However, um, you know, let's get into this. So the Muslims in, 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 in the jail system were, were, were initially considered like a, a cult or a gang, right? Now, let me tell you this. If, if most Jews that are you know, some of the most notorious gangsters, right? And, 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 and drug dealers and, and murderers and on and on and on, so on and so forth, right? Um, 
at some point during their time in the in in the system, in the penal system, right, they they eventually you know, most 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 of them become Muslim, right? Now there's different um theories on why that's so, right? But I can tell you this is that, you know, Islam is is a, um, it's a manly religion. Right? It's no it's no, you know, turn the other cheek stuff and you know, none of that, right? And so, and, and, and then, you know, dudes, it's the same dynamic with gangs, right? You're talking about brotherhood, right? And so, you know, most of the gangsters and the killers and street people, you know, if they was going to gravitate towards a religion while they was incarcerated, they would become Muslim. And that dynamic is still prevalent today, right? So now, you know, let's 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 take a little trip back into time here, right? So let's say the year is ninety three and C ninety five five building, right? For those who don't know that, that's on, that's on Rikers Island, in 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 the largest penal colony in the United States, Rikers Island. New York City Department of Corruptions. <laughs> I keep saying corruption. I get too used to that. Department of Corrections. <laughs> anyway, um, so, you know, there's a brother uh, that I know, you know, before he became who, who he is, who he was, or who he is, uh, is Omar, right? Uh, and sometimes you should use the name Omar, which is a Muslim name. Right. Anyway, um, we together in the five building, right? I ain't seen him in years. We link up, back up, uh, whatever, right? I think we seen like eleven up or something like that, right? On the door, on 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 the, on the, um, I think they call dark side, light side, whatever it was. And so, uh, you know, we link back up, connect up, whatever. And I'm like, hey, what's up, man? Boom, whatever, right? And um. This was the scenery, this was the situation that was going on back then. So we spent in the yard one day, right? And now mind you, this is my man, right? This is my man, right? You know, most of y'all know him as OG Mac, right? Omar Porti, my man, right? We spent in the yard and we see some Latino COs from HDM throw a knife, right? A seven, a, 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 a double oh seven knife over the fence and something else from the HDM yard to the 95 yard. And then we see, uh, you know, some Latin Kings, you know, scoop, you know, look around, scoop it and scoop it up. And we're like, yo, you see that shit, man? He like, yeah, dog. You know what I'm saying? Uh, whatever, that's, that's why, you know, we, we gotta unify and, and come together. Now at this time, at this point in time, man, you know, the Latin Kings was, you know, pretty dominant, man, right? And you know, they had the Nietas, the La Familia, the uh uh what's some other dudes? Um uh, man, hey, hey, I don't wanna offend nobody. I hate to believe my uh the, yeah, yeah, the Nietas, the Latin Kings, La Familia, and somebody else, right? And then we in the five building, right? And at the time, so this is the summer of ninety three. 1993. At the time, the five building was called Little San Juan. Right? They got things on smash, on lock, right? So you really couldn't live over there unless you was already known to have a, a rep and like like yo, yo, you know, you know, you know, regardless to what you raise, your son, son is official, right? So he starts running you know, telling me, you know, the whole deal when he was in L.A. and, uh, you know, all this other stuff like that and how we need to unify and get together to fight against, you know, this oppression, right, in his words, right? So then, you know, then he, you know, he starts giving me the history, you know, we just got it, right? This is my man, we, we, you know, we holding it down, we in the joint, we holding it down, right? And so, you know, we talking and he telling me, man, hey, man, you know, um, you know, the whole history and how they used to call them New York Mac out on the West Coast. And, you know, he's had to start this up over here. And, 
whatever have you. And, and my thing was that, yo, yo, man, yo, dog, listen, man, I'm black, we black, we together, you my man, I'm Muslim, right? And, and, and I'm not, I can't, I can't do that, right? So, to, to get here. And then, and then, then his thing was, yo, man, listen, man, whatever your faith is, it's still going to be your faith, right? It's like Malcolm X said, put your faith in the closet, right? But, but, but we need to unify and do this, that, and the third. And I'm like, yo, bro, listen, man, it ain't, ain't, you know, I'm not, I'm not fit to do that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a gang member and I've never been a gang member, right? I like red. I like wearing blue too. Okay. So, and, and also the short, you know, all right. So we, we, that happened. And, um, so I understand that culture and all that stuff. Like, so they did the other closest person. You know, he got me to think it though. <clears throat> to the other, only other, other closest person that had me where I was at least thinking about it was, um, you know, the, 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 the OG Shaquel, right? Okay, and um, you know, and that was when he had his case in Queens. We, you know, you know, in, in the three building and all that. He had that big incident. Yeah, I was out there for that and all that. Anyway, um, so moving forward, right? The, the, the bloods seemed to start to be a little more militant and a little more gangster than the Muslims, right? So, you know, and, and, and there's a lot of reasons for that. You know, so the Muslims, you say, hey, when something happens, you're supposed to first seek to ascertain the truth, right? Whereas, you know, some dudes was on the, on, 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 on the street mentality, listen, man, they... they shot up the hood or they, they did this to one of our soldiers, it ain't nothing to talk about, let's just move, right? And so, you know, dudes started to feel like, you know, the Muslims are operating as a, almost in the sense of a gang, which is understandable because a lot of dudes came from that street life, right? They say that, do you know, the worst of persons in dunya or the, or the, or the, or the, or the, or the, you know, the life, it becomes the best person in the demon, right? The high, or somehow, it's, or it's just how deep to say sometimes the person with the worst past creates the best future, right? Those are hadiths, right? So, what, what happens is this, is that, you know, two years later, I see son again in, in the beacon, right? And I'm like, yo, oh, right? And he does it, you call him, he has his squints. Goes like this. Right, can't see, I guess from a distance, can't see that good, he squints. Oh, yo, big shot, what's up, man? What's up, homie? Ah, uh, whatever. And then I said, yeah, man, I see you, you, you been active, man. It's like, he said, yeah, I told you something, blood up, blood up, right? <laughs> right, the whole, ah, uh, is, 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 you know, and now they at war and, you know, most of the times, what, what what happens now is you couldn't ask to be blood. You had to be recruited, and then we and then we recruit you based on what, what what was your what was your rep, right? What was your reputation? What was your status? How was you respected? Was you a dude known for busting you know bust bust busting your gun or you know popping that bottles and all that other stuff like that? And then they would come at you, yo dog. Uh, let's so. You know, all the first generation dudes, man, you know, we, you know, we, 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 I can talk about it, man. Valentine, OG Valentine, OG Dizzy, my man, peace, homie, right? Um, you know, on and on and on. I'm not going to go into name dropping, man, right? But, you know, if you, if you, those who know, know, right? And so, what happens now is that dudes that were like five percenters, but, but official, right? or Muslims, even official, or just regular dudes, Christians, but the, you know, official, street, you know, official. They, they they switched over to become blood, right? And so you have situations where, you know, uh, during Juma services, you might have, um, you know, a quarter or almost half of the dudes in there that they come to service because that's their religion. They're separating, their, and that's supposed to be, you know, te technically that's Haram, right? But they're separating their lifestyles and the way they're living, right, from their religion. 
but Islam is a way of life, right? It's supposed to be no separation. There's, there's something for every aspect of your life in religion, how you eat, right? How you, even how you use the bathroom, how you shower, how you have sex with your wife, how you relate to your children, your family, on and on and on, okay? And so, you, once these dudes started doing that, so they used to come to Juma services, right? Which is to, um, you know, for sake of uh, brevity, right? And, um, you know, this compensation, right? Let's just say that's the Muslim church service, right? Even though it's not church service, but, but you know, just so you understand what I'm talking about. Right, so then that's on Fridays, usually all around the world, like the one o'clock from one to two to three, right? So these dudes will show up and they make us a lot. They praying and they know stuff, but then after they leave, right, they back, you know, doing what they do, right? So the dudes will do a separation. Now, you would be surprised for, to those, you know, that's that looking at this video and, 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 and and, 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 you know, they've been through the system and know that, listen, man, there's a lot of dudes that's OGs or five-star generals and generals and, and, and big homies, right, that they are Muslims. Straight them down, right? You, 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 know, you don't know that because they ain't out there like that, but if you ask them who they believe in, they can say the law. You ask them who they put their problem, they can say Muhammad. Right now, we not you know this is not talking about the NOI nation of Islam, right? Peace, big up to them brothers and all that other stuff like that. I mess with a lot of them, whatever are you. But it, it's almost similar to where you know the five percenters, which are still considered a gang, even though they have some rights in the system now, right? But the five percenters end up becoming an offshoot of the nation of Islam, right? And it was you know a, a less stringent. Strict, you know, Muslims not supposed to smoke, drink, have sex outside of marriage, none of that stuff, right? And so, you know, and then you know, so I mean, that's a whole other topic. But listen, man, it's that's technically Haram, right? Because you pledge allegiance, you can't no man can serve two masters, right? And so. You know, a lot, a lot of times that would work out. Well, up top, dudes be like, yo, you know, because I've had positions, you know, even from the Naibu to the Imam and different spots, whatever the case may be. And, you know, the, 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 the dudes said some might have a compound, like, yo, shot, you want to um, wanna do Ramadan, right? And, but then the Majlis or the other brothers be like, nah, man, he's, he's, still, he, he's a big homie. I right? we going to have him, nah, nah, we can't put him on the Ramadan list. And so, you know, it, it's, it's, to me, I'm always been a little more, um, I don't want to say lenient, if that's the right word, but a little more understanding of different topics and subjects, especially when it comes to that, right? And so, you know, you, you, a lot of times you have to be, listen, man, there's no rule, man. You can, I, 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 you can do it on your own if I can get a meal to you or whatever the case may be. Just get ahead and fast. Right? Just moving on with, okay, so those who don't know, Muslims fast 30 days during the month of Ramadan, 29, 30 days, depending on the sight and the moon, right? And so, you know, these dudes who want to fast during the month of Ramadan, even though they butt, right? Even though, even though, even though they homie. Because that's their religion, that's their beef. So dudes separate it, right? And so now, the situation that's going on now you know, generally back then, back in the days or whatever, man, do you know, for the most part, most Jews wouldn't really wouldn't do that. Right? It was more five percenters and just some Muslims that was like, yo, man, this appeals to my nature a little more. This is a little more gangster, a little more militant, right? Because Muslims started becoming, you know, people would join for protection. This stuff still happens now, it still happens with, the, with, with, with with everything, right? Because the Muslims was a brotherhood and they, and, they, and they stuck up for each other and they moved in tandem you know, when it came time, you know, for, for beef or whatever. And so, you know, people seen that and then it appealed. So, you know, but, you know, it says no, no, no one can judge another man's intent or what's in another man's heart. And so, you know, this just end up happening. In any event, it always is a question of, well, 
What if the Muslims and the Bloods get into a beef? Whose side are you going to be on? Right? The legitimate question, because that happens. Right? And so, you know, you, you know, some some dudes were like, nah, we ain't going to let that happen. Right? And, I, and, I, and, and listen, I can attest to that. A lot of times where you got Muslims and Bloods in the same, there's a lot of Muslims and Bloods in the same jail, right? There's like a, a, a intermingling and, 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 you know, the dudes just, they stay blood, but they may only just come to June, right? They ain't participating and they only want to, if Ramadan comes around, they want to say, but something happens. Usually these dudes uh, try to squash the beef, right? So 